what is what type of content is the kind of stuff that you're like more of that please not not that you don't like the other stuff but like if it's like like for me for instance i still do i'll still do like an engagement shoot or or a newborn shoot or i've done a couple maternity shoots at this point um not really my forte but you know if it's if somebody comes to me with like a cool idea i'm like oh fuck yeah let's do it you yeah. know um and uh but and like weddings Mm -hmm. I still do those, mm -hmm. which actually I don't really advertise for weddings anymore. The, the, I, I think I just oh, delivered my last one yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so, but what I really like doing is producing ads. I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because it's something different every time, even with the same company. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, let's switch it up. Let's figure out how to do this different. Let's come at it from a different angle. Yeah. You know, um, so is there, is there something that you're like that, please more of that? I love being a creative director. Like, so in what kind of genre, I guess? I, I love the beauty industry. Okay. I really do because that's like people are very intrigued and enticed by beauty. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, people like to look at good looking people, good yeah. looking things, yeah. aesthetically p pleasing things. Yeah. So, even if it's this cup, mm -hmm. like, and I'm trying to make it, of course, I'd like to work with people more, but I love, okay, how can I make this cup look really cool? We want to put it in water. That's movement water, but we're going to box it up into this um, poster board. Then we're going to run this plastic cellophane over top of it, and then we're going to make it look like it's submerged in water when all of it is just in this tiny little shoebox. Mm -hmm. But at the end result is this really, really cool picture, this really, really cool video clip. I love that. Okay. I love that. But when you like – when you put people in it, so like creating like um, some of the videos that I've done for like Southern Soleil, like just uh, like me putting solution in my cup and, you know, putting it to music, like seeing the music. I love music. Um, seeing the music put together with people moving and you're creating something. I, I just love that. Like, mm -hmm. I have an idea, and I used to do this too. So when I danced and I cheered, I used to make routines in my head all the time. I knew exactly when, like, a beat was just supposed to drop for a certain, like, stunt or movement or things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really like. So creating and, like, creatively directing a shoot is what I love. Okay. So what what would you define is a creative director, like in your words. Okay. Um, someone who envisions something that's going to happen or they want done and then puts that out. I don't really mm -hmm. know. I don't really know because no one's really ever asked me that. Like, so, I didn't know if it was like the role that brings all this stuff together. Like, is that what you're consider what you consider a creative director? Like, um, I have this idea, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring on this videographer, this photographer, this model, this mm -hmm. person, this person. I'm going to do the spray tan, whatever. Um, is that what you're – Yeah, and okay. putting it all together and then seeing the end result. Like that's so gratifying to me. Do you think that's because it's yours? No, I could even do it for somebody else. I was just wondering. Like I mean like you find that so gratifying and and – fulfilling mm -hmm. i would assume mm -hmm. and i i find that you know what i might have just answered my own question i think you're right yeah um it's not just because it's yours because mm -mm. i do find this there, there is a certain gratification to to me creating this thing like an ad right it's not your ad but you right. love doing ads but I, I put myself into it right right yeah i mean some literally when i see some videos go up sometime or just commercials i'm like Oh my god and i was part of that mm -hmm. like it, it's super gratifying because you put so much blood sweat tears time into something and you're like wow i was part of making that happen but when you're the creative director you made all that shit happen mm -hmm. you picked every single piece of that project and you did it yeah and that's gratifying mm. yeah um yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what it is about creating stuff 
Mm-hmm. Ma- maybe it's just the type of people that we are. Uh, it, only creatives understand creatives because yeah. you get there. Like it's this high that you mm-hmm. get and there's no other way in the world to describe it. It's a high that you get from actually seeing something that you envisioned in your head put in front of your face and yeah. you're like, wow, that's amazing. And I can't believe I was part of that. I can't believe that something that I made up in my head is actually on television, on a video, on a photo shoot. Tangible. Yeah. Yeah. It's out It's out in the world. Yes. What's even better is when you show it to the client and they immediately love it. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Awesome. Right. That's like right. – that takes that just another another level. Mm-hmm. When there's like – they have no notes and you're like, oh, sweet. Awesome. It doesn't happen like all the time. But yeah, when it does, it's pretty great. It's a nice little treat, a little mm-hmm. cherry on top. Yeah. And it's hard to describe that to someone – Who's not a creative, who yeah. doesn't really care, like, eh, whatever. But if you're in that world, you're just really like, yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no better feeling in the world. Yeah, I think, um, I wonder what the closest thing would be. Like, making hmm. an A on something that <laughs> yeah, you I tried guess. really hard oh, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. Like, you really tried hard for that. And you're like, you came yeah, up with that. You came up I with that really that. quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's true because, like, even though someone – okay, you're studying for something, mm-hmm. right? You you really want to pass this class and you really want to make all these other people like not jealous but like, damn, like that person made it. A, that was so hard. Mm-hmm. The teacher didn't even explain it and like they nailed it. That's the same thing being creative. I wonder if it's an attention thing. Think about it. Not like – not in a bad way. Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip. Full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast are available on YouTube and wherever it is you get your podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Links in the description. We'll see you later.